And the last target on No More Heroes was... And welcome back to No More Heroes. Uh, port on the Switch. Uh, phew. That last episode, I had a lot of fun. Honestly, as I said in a tweet earlier today, um, I think this is gonna be one of those series that I go straight from the first game to the second game, which is very rare for me. Hardly do I ever do this because I know I'll get burnt out on a game. Usually it's because most of the games I play are super long JRPGs or like visual novels or stuff like that. I'm really enjoying myself so far. <laughs> Maybe it's just because of what just happened to that car? That car just nosedived into the concrete. Sir. Sir, can I- Oh. He, he got fixed. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry, you're gonna have to wait. I am doing my YouTube intro here, sir. I don't care how sporty your car looks. You're waiting. But yeah, in short, I'm really enjoying this game. Secondly, uh, I've noticed that all the way, and I mean all the way up to the place we have to go for this next assassination mission, uh, there are bloodstains the entire way there. Like, there is one on Travis's front door. Or not like on his front door, but like in the parking lot outside his house, and it leads all the way to the point where you need to go. But we're not going to be doing that quite yet because I took the time to collect every Lava Cove ball I could see on the map. Is there more? Maybe. Also, I do want to point out that there was a cutscene that I didn't get to see because I I stopped the video and then I went home as Travis and there's a cutscene where Sylvia calls you and she's like dancing and you know, it's her usual spiel. Travis, the, the next assassination mission's out here. I don't know if you'll make it and she's just at this rave having a good time, but that's basically it. It, it you didn't miss much. Wasn't my intention to skip the cutscene, but I didn't think there'd be a cutscene after I stopped recording, and you can't save without going into Travis's house. So I kind of had no choice but to go through the cutscene. A ball. In return, let me teach you something. Select the technique you want. Alright. Uh, we only had two left anyways. So we have Memory of the Woman, which extends dark side mode time, which seems very... I don't know. I, I don't feel like I get dark side mode that often. Unless dark side mode is just like... You learn the technique of God. Unless it's just like any slot machine effect. This ball is me, like looking into a mirror. May I ask, what is needed for human to realize they are human? And what is price for such an epiphany? Sacrifice, my friend. That is what it takes. Sacrifice. I'm just gonna do this bad Russian accent until I run out. Find the last ball. Understand. Keep practicing. Find the last ball? I just realized, like... What does he mean, find the last one? I don't know where the last Lavakov ball is at. Did they, like... Because, look, all the other Lavakov balls have been on the map somewhere. Like, by the way, I've, I've noticed how difficult... Like, I give them points because the map is stylish, but oh my god, is this thing kind of hard to read. Uh, the Lava Cop balls usually show up as, like, these little orange pixels about the size that the pink pixels are on the map. But maybe I'm blind or one of the icons is blocking it or something, but I can't seem to locate the last one. Unless it's in, like, some special place and the game goes, haha, we won't mark this one down, or if it's in a place of the city that we can't go to yet, because it, it looks like to the right and to the north, there are places of this city that we have not gone yet. By the way, I also want to take note, the person, like, this assassin's location is so far out. It is so far away from ever, like, it's in the middle of... It's just a... Wait, is this actually not gonna have a level? Is this actually like you're stepping in the ring? We're fighting now. Oh. What is this? Let's shake? Oh, this dude's gonna be crazy. Look at that hairstyle.
All right, well, let's... I don't like the fact that these dudes are running away from me. This is a trap. This is the first assassin's base that actually... The hell is this guy? Hey, come back here! Is that the guy we're looking for? Doesn't look like the same guy. I feel like it's somewhere. He just ran off. These guys look like freaking death troopers. Was I always able to combo for that long? I don't remember being able to do that. Oh, they can straight up just shoot projectiles. So he did learn that new dodge technique. That shows you, like, oh, here's all the moves that you've learned. Whoa, that dude just dashed off. Come back, man. I can't run that fast. I think the thing I'm the most excited about is I know that once we get back from all this, uh, we're gonna have a chance to... Get our hands on that military grade beam saber, I'm guessing it is, unless it's a different type of weapon. Which begs the question, where did the two I have now come from? This is like military grade tech, how did I find one on E? How long are you gonna run for, dude? I, I legit am getting some like bad Silent Hill vibes from this. Place is like it is creepy. You messing with me? I I still can't get over the fact that every enemy in the entire game, aside from bosses, is the same voice actor. I swear I'm trying to dodge this stuff. Would you come back here? Who is this guy? He can't really be the boss of this place, can he? He looks A, nothing like the silhouette we saw. And B... I don't know. Are you messing with me? Just get over here, man. Why do you keep running? I think I see a door over there, so he must be getting near the end, or he's getting near something. Why are you running? Oh! This is the hallway that never ends. 
It's just chasing some guy down a dark hallway for freaking ever. Seriously, I fought so many of these same guys. There's like a little dark ring around this one, so maybe this is the end. Nope. Am I supposed to be actually trying to hit this guy? No, I do see things at the end. I think we're almost at the end of the stage already. This is where it'd be very useful if Travis had a gun. Oh great, Sylvia's calling. Travis, hello? Continue forward and you will enter your next ranked match. The fifth rank awaits you if you win. And only eternal damnation awaits if you lose. How are you feeling? No irritable rashes? Hit the john lately? Taking care of the blackheads on Now she's going to talk about how we're going to die. I recommend a good hygiene set. When you're ready, step inside. Now, don't tense up too much on this one. You've been slacking off a bit. You must maintain a steady tempo. Please, you know what I mean, right? I am so sorry to say this, but I am 1,800% positive that you will die here. But trust your force. What is even the point of you calling me? Of madness. Why do you do this every minute? Real assassin vibes from this guy. And on the other hand, from the portrait, I'm feeling it's gonna be like Mad Max crazy dude, you know? Oh, I can't see anything. What is this? Was there really no wrestling mask on this one? Weird. I'm sure someone's gonna tell me in the comment section that I missed it or something. What is that? At last. Doctor, it's time. Wake up! That dude has an electric guitar. That's pretty rough. What? Oh, yeah. I feel a good undulation. Your rumbling is excellent. I think I'm going to lose the bowel control. Uh. You're the fifth ranked guy? Yeah! I've been waiting for you! You certainly sound like you're up for a fight. I'm ready whenever you are! Alright then, here I come! <laughs> Disaster Blaster, charging ignition! Disaster Blaster! Activating main engine! Activating sub engine! Check! Cycle ratio, 15%. Cluster generator active. I wasn't Cluster wrong when I said low. Mad Max, Sound asshole. Cycle ratio, 25%. Anti-shock balance up. Calculation complete. The detection system, normal. Target acquisition, 98%. Main panel, open. Cycle ratio, 55%. Activate cell distance. Maximize output. How many parts does this have? chance <coughs> Travis touchdown is it not son of a bitch fucking snatcher I had him dance with me Travis 
Ha. A katana. This is getting interesting. What do you go by? Henry. Henry? <laughs> Your instincts serve you well. I am... I don't know who you are or what you want, Sir Henry. Where are your manners? <laughs> that was my kill, you naughty boy! Shall we get this over with? And don't hate me if I play a tad dirty. Fine by me. I'm getting real Virgil vibes from this dude. This is infinitely more interesting than- wait, hold on, what, the mission's over? It's just done? This fight seems infinitely more interesting to me. I know that's weird to say after the guy just showed us the gigantic, like, metal mecha brain with all the parts inside who had this rad design and then got slashed in an instant. But I am always way more down to fight the guy that has the same weapon as you, you know? The one-on-one -on -one sword fight. I will never turn that idea down. On the other hand, it does take a lot of balls just to introduce a boss like that and then kill him instantly. <laughs> like, I'm sure some people are disappointed. Like, oh, I wanted to fight that. But honestly, I really like that touch. Doesn't even get a second to show what he was about. Stop right there! What? The fight is over. Travis, you are now ranked fifth. What? We haven't even. We're just getting started. Perhaps you've forgotten these fights are an official game. If your opponent dies for whatever reason, according to the rules of conduct, it is your win. That's fucked up! That's the stupidest rule I've ever heard! This guy's mine, and you just want me to let him go, bitch? Mm. Okay. Rules are rules. You can't have what you can't have. Whatever. But this dude says he wants to fight, and ain't nobody gonna stop him. This ass clown right here is- Who? And he's gone. Hey! He's gone! Mr. Sir Henry motherfucker, he just jetted! <laughs> what a pussy. Sorry, save that aggression for your next match. Who the hell was that guy? He was rad. I want to see that guy again. Simple as that, honestly. Marvelous! Easy! I still want to fight that guy so bad, though. Like, I agree with Travis. But seeing as how he killed that thing in one hit, I feel like he's super out of our league. Wait, does that mean I immediately have to go back to making money for the next ranked fight? Is that what this means? That's ex exactly what it means. I don't wanna... I wanted to fight a big boss man now. Hi, this is Diane from Beefhead Videos. We're calling to let you know you're overdue on returning one of our videos. It's titled, um... Air Force One, The First Lady Returns to the Mile High Club. <coughs> Oh boy. Mr. Touchdown, your UAA registration is complete. As of today, you are officially the fifth ranked assassin in the United States. Nice work. You are on the fast track to the top. Keep it up, and good luck. I find it a little bizarre that every assassin, like, in the entirety of the United States hangs out in fake California. Like, they all live here. 400,000? I don't think I even have that much money now. Oh, whatever. I don't even have enough. Well, at least we can go buy our new beam saber upgrade, maybe, kinda. Oh, the new model, it's complete. Pretty, huh? Just look at its shape. Only I can make something so beautiful. Alright. It's just the Subaki Mark II? It still looks pretty cool, though. Uh, that? Yes. 
what parts? No new parts for it. You old taku. Now we have a new beam saber. So I'm not sure what the like the beam saber by itself does inherently, like, or beam katana. I'm gonna call it. What? Why does it look like that? Is this like a broadsword? What is that? I need to go test this out in a little bit. But first, you know, we have to go through our daily routine, you know, go to the gym, do all that. Get our job done. Your beam katana's combo has been extended. Oh, okay. So when it says it extends my combo attacks, okay, that explains a lot actually. Because at first, the first time I read it, I think my brain skipped a few words and I just read that like, oh, your beam katana was extended. And I thought that meant, oh, it has more range now. But it actually extends the combo itself, meaning that there's more moves to it now. No wonder the combo when I went into the school felt so different from when I like started, you know? Wasn't just because I switched to the motion controls, it was because his, he actually got better. You know, on a side note, I, I hear a lot of people actually like lifting weights way more than cardio, and I actually prefer the other way around. I love cardio, but I hate lifting weights. Not that I'm like a gym junkie or anything, but like... Gotta get your... I wouldn't say daily exercise, but like... Weekly exercise... Oh god, we, this is gonna be cutting it close. Alright, mission six, graffiti erasing. This might actually be kind of fun. But you won't never punk out on you. The fight will rage on until the graffiti is gone. In the town of freedom and lawlessness. Eternity is just around the corner. Your hard work can change this town. The future sand to destroy is a town without graffiti. Hard work will never betray you. Hard work will change your future. Kill the god of graffiti. Work harder than you've ever worked before. You bet your... I don't know, I don't know what type of hairstyle you have. Corn rows, I will. Mission start. Erase the graffiti sprayed around the town. No instructions at all. How do I? What do I do? How do? What? What do I? It's right here. I see it. But like, what? Is there a motion input? Oh wait, this doesn't actually count. That's kind of dumb. Oh, I get it now. Also, I did pick up the ability from one of the lava cob balls to sprint like this. That's why our screen is just filled with smoke. Because all right, I kind of get the gist of this now We just got to go to certain places on the map and waggle our controller really fast Honestly, I'd still say that like the motion controls in this game are a little wonky sometimes like the This is probably coming from a person in the future who is you know plays a lot of VR games Which have like fully functioning motion controls and they feel great but like I don't know sometimes it doesn't actually want you to, like, shake the controller in the way it displays on screen. I don't know if the Joy-Cons have, like, improved tracking from the Wii mode or not. I would assume they do, but not many things I feel really take that much advantage of the Joy-Con controller's, like, motion sensitivity. I know there's actually, like, a lot of exercise games that do. Oh, I almost got all of them. Maybe we still can. If we just hurry. What side of the road is it on? It's over here, come on. Gotta go fast. That's all of them. Got every single thing in graffiti in the entire town. Gold. 
Which means we can take on a real assassination mission. Alright, so our new missions are... Assassination Gig 13 Underground. Kill as many as you can within the time limit. I love this one. This one is my big favorite, because I can do that. I can't wait to see what this new beam katana looks like. Like, the picture in the menu screen looks so ridiculous. Alright. Mission start. Let's take a look at this baby. Oh, it extend. Ooh, it extends now. And he changes his pose. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Let's go, Travis. And our beam katana. Do you see how much damage this thing does? He also does like a batter up style swing now. Um. Okay. Oh, the range at which you also do like the finishing moves is bigger now, too. Okay, the doors just take a second to open. They're all like huge baseball swings. I kind of like it. I like how they went through the trouble of changing the animations for Travis. Look how much damage this thing does. I mean, granted, I think these are actually the enemies from, like, far earlier. But still, like... This thing chunks. Did I do the right mission? That felt like the wrong mission. I don't think I clicked the right one. That didn't feel right. Like, they died too quickly. Am I just... Or have all the upgrades made me that strong? Is that the deal here? Either way, we have a lot of money to make before we can take on the net. Are you serious? I couldn't go through that pole? We have a lot of money to make before we can go on to the next thing. Like, we're gonna be pretty busy here. No, that was the new mission. Maybe I'm I'm gonna do it one more time and then after that I think I'm gonna try out some of these free missions. Like there are these missions and spots you can just walk around to around town and go and kill things there, but I'm not like I'm not entirely sure if it's worth it. Like if the payout's worth it or not, you know? So I'm gonna do this one one more time just for money's sake. Because it appears, sadly, I'm gonna have to do this mission two more times after this attempt, so... We have a lot of money raising to do. Because I got the highest amount of money possible the last time I did this subway hunt a second ago. And still, that was like... an eighth of the total money I need. Okay, never mind. I did one. I did a free fight mission. 
Oh my goodness. The, like, the power you get from the Subaki 2. And that's 40,000. Can I do it over and over again, though, is the question. So if I can do it over and over again, and I, I you know, I... No, I can't do them over and over again. Okay. But yeah, if you do these and you actually kind of, like, get good... They are a really good source of money, but honestly... The amount of failed attempts it's been taking me to get there is a little, uh... I don't know if it's counterproductive in price or not. Especially this one. Like... With all the guns on this mission. Also, whoever gave me the uh, tips about, like, dark stepping, thank you, because it is super useful. I'm sure multiple people actually did, so it's not just one person. But if any of you guys did, thanks a lot, because it is super helpful in these free fight missions. I know I probably just previously said in the video, like, oh, doing them's just not worth the time, but, like, I've been doing them, and... It's been working out, I think. How much money do we have? We're only about 40,000 away from being able to pay off our debt to go to the next mission. None of these guys have guns, either. And with the Subaki Mark II, it's gonna be even easier. I say that and I as I immediately get hit by like a three frame hammer jab. <laughs> so before we go to turn our stuff into the bank, how about we give up that last lava cob ball? Oh, uh -huh, a ball. In return, let me teach you something. Select the technique you want. Alright, there's the last one. You ready for this? Give me a tickle. I like to imagine they're just trashing this dude's bar. Learn the technique of beauty. You got that? The technique is yours and yours alone. The final ball. I played my part. Travis, you are now looking at yourself. What you see in the mirror? That is what awaits you. It is your fate. Make of it what you wish. Cut down the path of murder and this is what awaits. But hell, don't get me wrong. This isn't all bad. Nothing awaits for you beyond the limits of killing. There is no scenery from, the, from that peak. No, no pot of gold, no nirvana. But that's not to say that the scenery is so awful. If that's what you wish to gaze upon, then by all means continue your death march. No hesitation. Kill, kill, kill. I've played my part. Travis, be the best. Is that all we get? I was kind of hoping he'd give us, like, something special for getting all of the Lavakov balls. Rather than just a nice little rousing speech. You know? I was kind of hoping he might have just been like, Hey, you got the final one. Congrats. Here, have this special superpower. Huh? Oh, what do you want? I'm just stopping by just to say hi. And he's just getting drunk. Okay. Well, I guess that's that. Alright, well, here we are. Back to the motel we go. The next rank is fourth. Who is it? But come to think of it, it doesn't really matter, does it? I am sending you a ticket for a show. Look nice. Let's go together. Number four will be there. A show? Wait. This is a date, right? Something like that. Why else would I be getting an oil rub? W what? 
what did you say? Someone's rubbing you down? I'll see you later. Damn. Okay, well. Time to go. A letter. Dear Travis, you know what it, what that is? It's a platinum ticket, reserve seating. Go and give the performance of your life. You can do this. Thought it was gonna be a wrestling mask. Well, why don't we actually do, do? You know what? Let's be daring. Let's do two in one episode. I think we can fit it in, can't we? Probably. I can't see anything, Travis. Also, the frame rate is dropping. It also just occurred to me that I forgot to go like. Wow, that was wonderful. It just occurred to me that I forgot to go to Beefhead Studios, but honestly, I don't think I have enough money to even get a freaking videotape, anyways. What name is that? Is this dude a drummer? I feel like this dude's a drummer. It's just more of these guys. Time to get on the subway train. I skipped this part last time, but if you saw me do that free mission earlier, it's literally the same thing. Oh, you just fell asleep. I guess we're going quite the distance. Grasshopper manufacturer. Pure white giant... Blastonberry? Glastonberry? Move, shoot, sword, and special move? What? What is going on? Why did it just boot into Galaga? This is one of Travis's Animu video games. Why is it like... Damn. I already lost two lives. Why is this thing so difficult? Is that a power up? Oh, I'm dead. I guess we're continuing then. Why am I playing this? This is like Toho, but extremely. It doesn't feel as good. I'll just say that. Whoa, what was that? Is that like a missile? This is unfair! This reeks of Capcom wants my money. What is going on?
What? I feel cheated. What is this? Oh, you can't shoot and sword at the same time. I've died so many times. You know, I hear people talk about bullet hell all the time, but they don't actually know what bullet hell is until they've played uh, Travis Touchdown's Toho Adventure. I was joking when I said these girls look like Toho Sailor Moon characters, but they are actually like, he is in the Toho fandom hard. Why am I doing this? I've just given up on, like, the whole not dying thing. What was that about? Why? Was he playing that on, like, his Game Boy or something? Oh, hey, there's the Earth. That was the highest score. I died, like, 15,000 times, though. Was he dreaming about it? Was that the deal? Wait, is that Sylvia calling already? Come on. You can do this. You're almost to the next ranked fight. Winners proceed to the fourth rank. Losers will also proceed to the eighth circle of hell. But you and I, Travis, we are going to paradise together. Take me by the hand and show me a world of drama and passion, one that I have never known before. But be sure to hit the bathroom first. <laughs> as soon as you are ready, come for me. Don't leave me waiting. Today, Little Sylvia has done herself up quite well, I must say. My skin is so silky and smooth. This, quote, charisma makeup artist from Japan gave me, like, the most incredible color gradation ever. I really hate how she says, Dundaki, Dundaki, like some stupid bimbo. And Dundake. That, today you are going to win with 2,000% certainty. Wh what? One hot night together, you and me, coming. I don't trust up. this. I don't trust what she's but putting down right you now. Promise. Trust your force, Travis, and head for the Garden of Madness. Freaks me out how positive she was. I don't trust it. Something's up. I don't see a bathroom here, so I can only assume it's a head. New wrestling mask. Travis, you become a masterful pro wrestler. I think I'll book a match for you, but first, a super hard suplex. Remember Satan's Ferris wheel, the double arm suplex. You remembered a wrestling move. Hmm. 
Yes, Travis, I too dream of bullet hell. Alright, what's the deal here? Who? The show's about to start. What's with all the excitement? It is not every day you get to watch a big fight from VIP seats. Of course I am excited, but I am most excited being with you. Whoa, you serious? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh shit, oh shit. I'm packing heat, baby. Wow. She got all dressed up to watch us kill this big bit. Ladies and gentlemen and all killers out there, welcome to Harvey Bovodarsky's magic freak show of the century. It'll be a killer night. So let's Is that you, Vega? It's showtime. Quiet, quiet, please. What do you know? It's already time for the last program. But you know, today is a special day. And you, ladies and gentlemen, are lucky. So lucky that you might even get lucky. Now, one of you lucky people will be chosen to be up here with me. Who's it gonna be? The lucky person is... You! Well, Travis... This is your lucky night. <laughs> me? They want me? Serious? <laughs> He's super excited about it. Come on, no need to be shy. Congratulations, you little boy. Tell the audience your name. Travis Touchdown. It's a good name, don't you think? It's a fine name indeed. You have your parents to thank for that. My parents are dead. Oops, touchy subject. A question that should not be touched upon. That's okay. Really, it is. There, there, don't let it bother you. Hold on to your hopes and don't give up, my nasty little boy. Thanks. I'll remember that. He's just letting himself be tied up. So you came to enjoy the show? Damn right I did. I was really looking forward to this. It's the last show, right? Last show? Did I hear you right? Oh, you heard me right. Harvey, you're gonna die tonight. Right here, by my hand. Let's close the curtains. I hope you aren't being serious. That would be a pity. We still have the main event to unveil. Okay, my, my assumption that this dude was gonna be a drummer is way off. Now this is entertainment! Yeah! <laughs> it's killing time! <laughs> These two are on the same wavelength. They totally get each other and what each person wants. Let's go, buddy! Birds! Where'd he go? Let's go. I'm kind of starting to get the combat, like being honest here. Whoa, the screen's upside down. <laughs> this is awesome. I really do. <sighs> Need a power up, though. Excuse me, sir. 
No! <laughs> Actually, I don't need the health. Just come here. I can't see. Why is he invincible? This is a super fun fight. Well, he's already almost dead. Did the music just change? Are we doing a salsa now? Welcome to the nightmare. Assistance. Oh, thanks. This is a pretty neat trick, buddy. Carefully. Assistance. It's showtime. Did I seriously not shake the controller hard enough to survive that scenario? Are you serious? That is so dumb, I was shaking it as hard as I possibly could. What? what <laughs> That move just instant kills you? That was stupid. Oh no, the music changed again. What now? Oh, no, same thing. And I died. Oh. If I knew the game was going to force this on me, I would have never done a workout directly before recording this. My arms are in no shape to be doing this. I think these instant kills are actually single-handedly. Sorry, I mean instant kills tied to motion controls are single-handedly making what I, a fight that I really like into my least favorite fight in the game right now. Like, I'm not kidding. Welcome 
to the nightmare. Watch this! Ha ha ha! It's magic! Oh, not this shit again. Alright, if I fail at this time, I'm doing this without motion controls, because holy shit. Welcome to the nightmare. Assistance! Now look. Look carefully. Assistance! I think I got it this time. Yeah, I did. Again, please. Begin. Oh. oh, my arm. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Travis. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm switching to normal controls. I, I'm done. I'm switching to normal controls right now. This is so shitty. Like, maybe on the Wii this worked better. For all I know. Oh god, I gotta- I remember the controls for this now. Maybe on the Wii it worked a lot better. How do I switch from high to low? Oh yeah, it's just which strike I choose. Begin! All right, here we go. Bullshit instant kill mechanic, non-motion control version. Welcome to the nightmare. Assistance. Look how fast I was able to do that on analog stick. What the hell? It took like two seconds. But, uh, but I don't. Uh. You're going down. I'm so done with your bullshit. Almost. No, not again. Oh wait, he's just looking at me. Okay. Okay. It's showtime! No, he's doing it again. He's doing it again. I would have had to go through this four times on motion controls. I don't care, just tell me what bullshit button to push now! Doing it again? Begin. You just got out of it two seconds ago. You haven't even done a different move. We're just back in the mash fest. Yeah. Who play tested yeah. this? No one? Perform in total darkness. 
Hit the lights! Hurry up! Oh, he's Get blind. Me. It's dark. I'm surrounded by darkness. So why did... I guess they really didn't like working with him. Which I understand, that dude's an asshole. That was the worst fight in the entire game. Like... It was specifically because of that singular move. Sure, there were some annoying parts of the fight that were like, oh, he turned the screen upside down, he could teleport across the screen, throw pigeons at you. But the fight wasn't actually that hard until you got to the instant kill mechanic. In which, on the freaking motion controllers, I couldn't do. I don't know how it wanted me to do it. Because I was shaking those controllers as hard as I humanly could. And even on my freaking Pro Controller, which I had to switch to just to get through this, um, he's just started spamming it. Like, he he did it once and then went into it again. Like, it was... That was bad. The name is but it's Travis over. It's Touchdown. over. Thank you all for coming tonight. I hope you enjoyed the show. I would also like to thank you for coming this evening. As a result, Travis Touchdown is now ranked fourth place. And the show will go on. I hope to see you all again soon. And, and have, have a good, good night. night. Oh, they kissed. Also, fan of the opera reference. We're at number four. We're just at number four. Only a few more to go. Hopefully these last few aren't as bad as that, because oh my god. All right, well, I'm actually going to end the episode here before we get into doing anything else because, oh, my goodness. That was frustrating. Like, I think I've already said how frustrating it was. I don't need to, like, elaborate on it anymore. It was still a really cool concept in the fight, and I really liked that part where we met, what's his name? I think his name was, like, Harry? Was it Henry? I think it was Henry or something. Um, But... That was pretty cool. The level itself was okay, I guess. But I can... How do I say it? I definitely feel the game running out of money. And when I say that, I mean most of the entire last level. The last two levels, mind you. Was one, running through a repeating hallway. To the end of a boss fight that wasn't there. And then two, playing this level, which you just go down into the subway... And you fight some dudes from the past few levels, and then you just play a little mini game in Travis's head, and then you're at the boss fight. Like, uh, there's a definite lapse in money, and it feels like these. I, I don't want to say the last two because I really like what they did with number five, with number four especially. It, it just, I don't know, didn't feel great. Still, I'm excited to get through the rest of this. Uh, it's like my first dip in this so far absolutely great game. So hopefully that doesn't resume. Anyways, if you like today's video, please leave a like. And if you want to be a subscriber, you should. Because then you get my video notifications after you hit the subscribe button followed by the bell button. Thanks for watching once again. See you later. Writing out.